Welcome to English 110. My name is Helen Beth Driver, and you can call me Helen, you can call me Beth, you can call me Mrs. Driver. I don't care. Whatever you feel most comfortable with. This video basically will show you some of my expectations this first week, how to navigate the classroom, and give you an idea of the assignments. Note, these videos that I upload are not professionally done. These are informal videos, but hopefully they'll help you a little bit each week to understand the material, to understand what the assignments are, and so on and so forth. So every week, what I want you to do is to check the announcements. You just click on show all the announcements. The first week announcement is not loaded yet, but it will be loaded here. This particular announcement might help you the first week as well because it gives you some basic idea about how to navigate Brightspace. So let's go ahead and click on Course Home again. So the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go and click on at the top content. Once you click on content, I'm going to go ahead and show you the course overview. So you go to the table of contents and I want you to click on the course overview. So go ahead and do that. And this is what you should see. Basically the course overview gives you some idea about what the expectations are for the course as a whole, the objectives, the materials that you need, and really the materials that you'll need for this course are Microsoft Office products and all the readings itself will be housed within the course. Now, some of you are new to the college and university Note that Microsoft Office is available to you using this website. You need to use Microsoft Word for this course. So make sure if you don't have it yet, click on this website and you should be able to acquire the necessary programs for this class. Also, if you need to email me, please do the following. So I'm going to go back over here. There is a little message area where you can email me or you can go to uh, instant messages. So you can use email or you can use instant messages. Feel free to use either one to contact me. However, if you do use email, please make sure that you keep this subject in here so I know which course you are contacting me from. Otherwise, I'll have a lot of difficulty knowing which student comes from which course because I do teach a few courses at a time so please make sure you include the course all right so let's go back to the course outline guidelines and I just wanted to point out that if you scroll down there's some ways for you to also contact the librarian this is actually important for later on this course because you will be doing a little bit of research and the librarians I gotta say are awesome and you can use a number of ways to consult them but please make use of them they really are great and they really want to help you so let's go through I want you to click on the syllabus to get an idea of the expectations for the course make sure you read the late policy this is where it's very serious you need to hand in your assignments on time. And if you don't, the grade deduction per day is 10% up to 50%. It's very important that you hand in the assignments on time. If you're having some sort of emergency or some sort of military obligation, please email me in advance and we will work out a schedule together to help you hand in assignments on time. So. Then this, the rest of it are just little areas to help you understand some of the overall expectations for the course. And also this gives you an idea of what the first discussion will be about, but we'll come back to that later. So let's go back to content. So make sure that you go through the course overview and introduction, but then I also want to go, make sure you go through the week one taking a rhetorical stance and using an academic voice. 
So I'm going to go ahead and launch the unit. But I'm going to go back over here. Let's go to content again, because I want to show you one more thing before we move towards that. All right, so you also need to click on learning material. This gives you the readings for each week. So notice when you click on learning material, you have the uh, uh, ability to obtain all of the readings. So let's click on week one. These are the readings that I would like for you to go through each week or this week, excuse me. So you need to read this short article and it's very short, so you should be able to go through it. I also want you to read through Writers Make Strategic Choices. Note, it's very short. This one is a little bit longer, The Elements of Style. I know, <laughs> I'm not expecting you to read these grammar pages thoroughly, but you do need to have a basic idea of what Strunk and White are talking about. These authors are the pinnacle, pinnacle grammarians. They really will help you understand the ins and outs of grammar. Of course, I'm not expecting you to be perfect. It's only the first week. But I do want you to go through it, check into areas where you're having difficulty, and make sure to get a general idea of what they're saying about grammar. But I'm not expecting you to read it thoroughly line by line. Then there's some ideas brainstorming ideas in this particular reading called strategies for getting started. Then there's the strategy for analyzing. It's not too long either. And then reverse outlining is one that I like to use. It's basically instead of making an outline at first, you make an outline after you write your first draft to help things become organized. And then some good writing habits. And then Another chapter that is quite long, but I'm not expecting you to read it word for word, just to get the general idea, is a chapter on writing from Colorado State. Finally, this particular article helps you understand how writing fits into certain majors right? Because a lot of times I see students saying, oh, I never have to write or this is a waste of my time. Well, as an online student, I got to say the primary method of communication will be, oh yes, writing. And in all your majors, you're going to have to write. And in fact, in many of your careers, and most of you are career professionals, you know that you have to do some writing, whether it be emails, whether it be messages, whether it be memorandums, you have to do a little bit of writing no matter what sort of career you're in. So it's helpful if you know how to write and that's what this course will teach you. Finally, you have the ability to go through the blue book of grammar and punctuation. Now it's lengthy. So again, I'm not expecting you to read these chapters line by line, but you do have to kind of go through it and look into areas where you're having particular trouble. For example, a lot of you have problems with punctuation or confusing words, things like that. Pay attention to the areas where you have the most difficulty. All right, so that's enough about the writing, I mean, excuse me, the readings due this week. The other area that I want you to pay attention would be, let's go back to content. And then note, I want you to launch the unit. This is where your lesson will be this week. And I want you to make sure to view each of the sections with the lesson. Now, you should know the lesson is not particularly long, okay? These are just supplemental resources. It's basically pretty short, but this is the area where I really want you to pay attention because this is the important topics that I really want you to understand for the week. 
I want to stop here. This is the last slide of the readings this week. It says portfolio pointers in week one. What does that mean? All right, so for this course, the assignments, the written assignments that you develop, all will be contained in a portfolio that's due on the final week of the course, week eight. So they're basically gonna be three items. And you're working towards a final research paper. So all of these little assignments will help you move towards that final research paper. So basically, that's the main assignment of this course, is the portfolio. But it's not something you're going to complete in one week. You're going to work slowly towards it. And my purpose as an instructor is to help you develop the best final written assignment you can create. All right, so let's go back to content and let's look at the assignment this week. So after you've done all your readings and you've gone through the entire assignment, you're going to click on activities and assessment. And you're going to see the welcome discussion, so click on that. Now, what I've seen with students is that they just post an introduction and they don't post, that's my dog in the background, sorry. <laughs> they don't read the entire assignment. So it's not just an introduction that you're po posting this week. You're also gonna read, read why I write and that's also located in the list of readings for this week, but you can also click it in directly in the welcome discussion. And then I basically want you to discuss pointers and some of the ways you develop your own writing. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a paper. It can be on Instagram or Snapchat or even sort of the emails that you write for work. That's what you need to discuss this week. Now, note this. Your initial post needs to be at least 250 words. And then the responses need to be a minimum of 100 words. And you need to post at least to two other students. Here's what I want you to notice. At least. At least. Minimum. If you are a go-getter and you want to get an A, reaching the minimum is not how you're going to get there. You need to do more than a minimum. So let's look at the discussion rubric. I'm going to pull it up. And it's not back. See, this is very informal. Basically, the discussion rubric, which I will fix before you start this course, explains that doing the minimum will result in a passing grade. If you want the perfect score, you need to do a little bit more. So, for example, let's say your initial post is 300 words of content. You post to <clears throat> three other students doing a little bit more than 100, let's say 120. And these responses are filled with content showing that you've actually read their discussion instead of compliments, which are nice. I like compliments too, but if you include content, that is what's going to give you a maximum score. Of course, if you have any questions about what I mean by maximum score, feel free to post your question in the discussion forums. And I'm going to show you where that is. So click on discussions and then the Q&A location. Post your question in the Q&A location, especially if it's a general question that could help everyone. If it's a personal one, of course, I want you to send me an email. So I think that's about it. I do hope you enjoy the course. I hope you get a better idea of what my personality is like. I'm not here to give you bad grades. I hate giving bad grades, but I want you to reflect the course objectives in your assignment activities. Also, whenever you have questions, please, please send me an email or post to the Q&A forum. I am here to help you. Well, best of luck. I hope you enjoy the course and I shall talk to you soon.